what are the impacts of elementary row operations to the determinant of a matrix? So first of all, if you have a three by three matrix, you are interested in finding the determinant. If you are exchanging two rows or interchange two rows, you have to multiply the determinant by negative one. The resulting matrix has negative determinant of the first matrix. So let us begin. First, we're going to interchange two rows of this matrix. So we're going to interchange the first row and the second row. Why is that? Because the pivot is zero. It's not one. This becomes your second row. And then your first row is one, two, and negative two. Your third row stays the same. And since you interchange the two rows, the determinant of this new matrix is negative times the determinant of the first matrix. Now what? Now we can factor out negative seven out of the second row. Very good. Your second row becomes zero, one, and negative two. And then since you factor out negative seven, negative seven times negative sign gives you positive seven. The first row is one, two, negative two. The third row is 0, 3, negative 8. And now you're going to add negative 3 times the second row by the third row. Because we want to make this guy equal to 0. So let's see. Let us begin. 7 stay the same. This is your first row. This is your second row. And adding negative three times the second row by the third row gives you zero, zero, and negative two. Pay attention, you have a triangular matrix. The determinant of the original matrix is equal to seven times the multiple of elements on the main diagonal. So you have seven times one times one times negative two, which is negative 40. 